forces you to halt as you set foot inside the ancient temple. A feeling. You look around, noticing the strange ornaments and unfamiliar architecture. The air itself seems fragile. Your legs tense as the plates beneath your feet suddenly seem frail as if made of glass. It is as though, by stepping through the broken gate, you left all worlds behind for another place entirely. A gateway between dream and reality. You feel it too, don't you? Yes. Something about this place is different. But we can't think about that now. Let's find the masked woman before it's too late. That's me. Boys. Where are we going? Try to keep That's up. her. You know it. Yes? Yes? What do you want? Mm. Interesting. General Erev. Finally. Hiding again? You seem to be making a habit out of this. I'm not hiding. I was waiting for you. And no, don't worry. I won't run this time. Why would I? It's over. My men are already at the gate, together with the Horde of Souls. They are opening it as we speak. Nonsense. Only a Corrupted can finish Jakku. That's correct. Go ahead. Oh, shit. My mind is still connected to the Horde. If you want to kill me, then go. Wait a minute. Stay close. Yes? Good thing I can't repair.
But <coughs> pointless. The prophecy will come to an end one way or another. It won't. You're the last corrupted and you're finished. Yes. Only a <coughs> only a corrupted can invoke Shayog Dead's return. If there were none of us left. Jakku wouldn't happen. But I'm not the last one. Nor will I ever be. The pattern... <coughs> the pattern... cannot be broken. What's that supposed to mean? The seeds... in everyone. What did she mean? The seeds in everyone? I don't know. Maybe... Maybe there are more than just four corrupted. Either way, we can't dwell on this now. Come on, let's find the gate and stop her sleepers before it's too late. Make it good. Do we always have to run? What is it?
so yes. much out of the way. What's the latest? <laughs> Let me quit. This is the Horde. Ciara's breath. Can you feel it? This energy? Yes. A harvest of a thousand souls. And this portal must be the gain. Nothing good can come from this. We shouldn't do anything before the Queen and her scholars arrive. I agree. I'm sorry. What? What do... This isn't happening. <clears throat> Guardians. Wraith. What... What did you do? You opened the gate! I... I did. I suppose I owe you an explanation, don't... Don't I? I just... Don't understand. General. I always suspected that the God of Light... Can not only destroy... But also create... New realities. Frankly, it... It was the only reason I joined this mission in the first place. And why I brought up the Jade Staff as a catalyst for the ritual. Because you knew that the Hibernian Prince had been experimenting with other realities? Yes. And that the God of Light didn't... <coughs> didn't grant his request. But why? Old Halu had the answer. <coughs> the Hibernian Prince's offering was flawed. All that... All that was left to do was to find out what kind of offering would win me the God of Light's favor. <coughs> and that's what the masked woman told me. Jakku. If I opened the gate to let him devour this world, He'd send me into another. This is about Atros and Jerobi, isn't it? You and Shagdad to send you to a new reality where they didn't die. It was obvious, wasn't it? Yes, Erev. I want them back. I thought I could bear it. But I can't. I just want them back. But not in this world, you see. Here, they are gone forever. So you sold us out to the Black Crescent in return for your family. It was you, or them. I'm sorry. When did you do it? How long have you been betraying us? After... After the ritual. The masked woman... She reached out to me while I was searching for her. So you gave her the location of the temple, didn't you? That's how they got here before us. Right after the boy told us, yes. And I promised to finish the job if you should manage to beat the Crescent. Which you did. 
But where is your new reality then? You're still here. The masked woman tricked you, Wraith. Shayogdad did. No, Erev, it didn't. It's already happening. This world, I can... feel it fading. I feel it fading as we speak. I don't understand. I thought only a Corrupted could open the gate. What does that mean? Are you... a Corrupted? I don't know, Erev. <sighs> and does it matter? I'm leaving all this behind. I... I can see them now. There. In the light. I'm listening. Tiara's jiggling tits. What happened here? Wraith opened the gate. He fulfilled Jakku. What? But... how? Why? Shayakdad offered him a chance to live in a new reality where his family hadn't died. He struck a bargain and sold us out to the Crescent, but it doesn't matter. We need to find a way to stop the God of Life from entering Eo. You're looking at the gate! It's our only chance. Whatever is behind there, maybe there's also a way to stop this. Do you have a better idea? Not really. Okay, we're coming with you. You don't have to do the... What other choice do we have? Sit on our asses and get eaten by a monster? No, General. You're right. A chance is better than nothing. All right. Then follow me. This isn't over yet. It can't be. Oh, miss me. This is how it ends. Get ready! As you step into the roiling wall of light, you feel what little grasp you still had on reality slip away. Like the last bits of a dream just after waking. Everything dissolves, leaving you alone in the void of nothing. Tiara's breath. I guess we found Shayukdead's home. A place between dimensions. Between dream and reality. What did you say? Nothing, I just... I think I know this place, and I'm trying to figure out why. I know what you mean. These swamps have been here before. Sometime. Swamps? Is that what you see? I see a meadow. I understand. This place conforms to our minds. Like some kind of shared reality between our own dreams and the God of Light's world. But as I said, I've been here before. I think I know how we can get to the core of this place. Come, follow me. Yes? Uh-huh.
Yes? Yes. General? Oh, miss me. Just give the word. Need something? Are you sure? So, what's the plan? What do you fancy? That's what I needed. Focus on you. Focus. go deeper down into this world. Interesting. How do you know? Long story. Still can't believe he betrayed us. Well, he couldn't bear the grief, so he looked for a cure. Still, I didn't think he'd have gone so far. What do you need? Kill the factory! I think so. See that socket? Let's try that stone we found. Hmm. What's this? More memories. More thoughts. This time, however, you realize it's not you thinking them. It's something else. Disassembling the core of your being. Carefully turning and inspecting the pieces. You feel exposed. Fragile. Like your skin is turned into glass. Same. Are you sure this is how we go deeper? Yes. We have to... Yes. Taba. Taba Segewa. The mayor said the orcs are headed for our village. Is that... is that true? Wait. Was that... Loras? I... I heard someone else. It must be the God of Light. He's messing with our minds. We have to... Wait. Do you hear that? Guardians, help us. Liar. You goddamn liar. You were supposed to protect us. You gambled with our lives. What is it? Tiara's jiggling tits. Look out! What do you fancy? Right. That's me. Mm -hmm. General, we I'm can listening. take them. Yes, easy. Uh -huh. Need something? Yes. This is it. Finally, some action! Listen. 
I came prepared. Miss me. Come from. Must be projections of our struggle. The God of Light is testing us. Well, you're not afraid to put your own life on the line for the greater good. You could have just stayed back at the outpost, but you didn't. For the sake of my village, that's the hallmark of a great leader. What do you fancy?
General? Miss me. Hmm? Just keep Stay them close. Work. That's me. That they wouldn't arrive before nightfall. Stop! Please! Just stop! Keep fighting! We can do this! I think that's it. Let's go deeper. Hmm. Interesting. The white light enfolds you. Memories flash through your mind. From your childhood to your first days in the army. From that day in Imperia to your first audience with the Queen two weeks ago. You understand. This place is as much the God of Light as it is you. It is again. Hello? Can you hear us? 
silence. That's... That's also an answer. Uh, what's... What's going on? I can't move! It's... It's some kind of spell! They're dead. Egosh, Naima, Yeah, They're all dead. And aren't these your soldiers, General? That colonel you sent ahead? Okay. Okay, there has to be some way out of this. You see that army across the bridge? That's the obstacle. We need to find a way to overcome it. Hmm. Portals. I can... I can feel those portals in front of us. They must be the key. How? Let me try. Tiara's breath. Where did they come from? I called them. The God of Light let me. Wait. Let me see if I can summon some more. to the wound, patching you up. Give me a good fight! Do you need medical attention? Are you injured? What is it? Take General? glory! If you need to be patched up, I'm here. <laughs> Point me to the wound. God. wasn't all of it, General. There's more. Do you need medical? 
medical attention. General, this way? Are you injured? Come get your medicine. General? think that's it places how long does this go on what if what if there's no end to this place what if we're going to be stuck here forever let's just keep going that's all we can do uh-huh hmm. what's this this time there are neither memories nor thoughts your mind is blank god of light Erev, Jakku, all concepts without meaning, not in this place. And yet, there it is, a glimmer in the void. This is your last chance to stop the fate that Wraith invoked. The last chance to clear your name by putting this right. You're a pr I think that's it. This is the core. How do you know? I don't. I just... I can feel it. Let's find the God of Light. If there's a way we can still stop Jakku, it's here. But how? Do we fight that thing? If there's no other option, we'll try. Come. Just give the word. They've got me. Tiara's breath. Stop. Stop talking! Ignore it. it. It's not real. I know that. It's just... It drives me nuts. Hold on. It's... It's doing something. Why the... Are they... Us? I don't know. They look like... illusions. Hmm. They don't appear to be hostile. At least not yet. And neither does the God of Light. Yes. Still... Keep your guard up. What do you fancy? Need me? Hmm? What is it? Oh, miss me. This is uncanny. This is uncanny. Hello? Can you 
hear us? Hello. Can you hear us? My home is gone. My comrades are dead. My mother is dead. And none of this, none of it would have happened if you hadn't gambled with our lives like we were just pieces on some fucking chessboard. Eric, it's... I can't. Eric, it's... I can't. It's not real, Aria. It's not real. Hello? Do you understand us? We've come to negotiate. Hello? Can you hear us? She trusted you with her life. You know, we all did. It's pointless. It doesn't react to us. Stop! Area!
Operation V. They came back! Damn it. They came back. Blazes! Why won't this fucking thing die? Because we're in its world. We're powerless, isn't it obvious? Violence doesn't work. There needs to be another way. You're right. I'm sorry, I... I just lost it. It's okay. I understand. The question is, what can we do? We need to stop this thing before it steps through the gate. We have to. Jakku is born within our hearts. The core is inside the God of Light itself. What? Do you remember what Kayahu's father said? Jakku is a storm of our own creation. The only way to stop it would have been from within our hearts. But what if there's another way to end it? Shagdad is the result in the embodiment of our sins. So the sins of our hearts are also in its own. It's too late to clean ours. But what if we can clean Shagdad's? What I'm saying is, what if we have to confront our sins rather than try to kill them? So? Are you suggesting that we enter that thing? What if it kills us? It could have done that already, couldn't it? Look, I know how mad it sounds. But if there's any place we can still stop Jakku from, then it's its core. Hmm. Maybe you're right. It's not like we have many options to choose from anyway. Fair enough. Let's try. If we die, then that's it. If not, well... We'll see. What do we have here? Hmm. Interesting. Here. Why? Yes, Era. Here, the place where all roads meet. Wait, you can hear me? But... These are your own thoughts and not those of the puppet of your memory? I know, Era. It makes no difference. Who are you talking to, Tava? The Dawn Reapers are on our trail and we... Quiet, puppet. At least for now. I want to hear from Era. I don't understand. How the hell did I get here? Is this the God of Light? You are inside the God of Light. Or inside yourself. There is no difference. Where are the others? In their own versions of this place. But they are irrelevant. This is about you. About us. What's the meaning of this? Are you... Shagdad? I'm afraid there is no simple answer to your questions. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's something else you need to see first. Don't you think? 
The memory. What happened after we reached Cavill? Yes, Era. The last piece of the mosaic. Outpost is just an hour from here. Please, Tava, you can do this. Do you want me to carry you? Oh, you've done that for the past four hours. No, let's uh, uh, let's find somewhere to rest. Please. All right. I'll find a place and make us a fire. Just wait here, okay? And keep your hand on the compress. Okay. Over here. There. That could work. What do we have here? So, that's better, isn't it? Let's just rest a little, then we can go on. Uh, uh, Ma'am? Tava? Yes. I'm... I'm here. They're dead. They're all dead. I still can't believe it. And Karen, my son. He'll be all right. I just know it, Tava. No, you don't know it. But thank you for saying it, General. You're... you're a good man. M Mother! Oh, Karen, you, you... Get away from him. What? Oh, God, it's... You're wounded. Let me... Oh. Stay where you are, ma'am. I... I got this. Colonel, you have to save your... Sh I know, General. I know about the treasury. About your plan. The orcs told me after they massacred my comrades. What? Son, you're not thinking clearly. You need to... You betrayed us! Damn it! You led the Dawn Reapers right to us! I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, really? Then what about the treasury, huh? You let the orcs think that the Emperor had a treasury hidden below the village's main hall, knowing they'd come for it. You used us as bait! General! It... It wasn't supposed to happen like this. Of course not. What was supposed to happen was that you swoop in with your troops while the orcs ravaged the village. And my... What wouldn't that have looked good on the records? Rescuing a defenseless village? Taking out an entire horde of orcs with a single division? Maybe the crown would have given you that promotion you deserved after all. But no. It didn't work. Because the orcs attacked too early. They killed Colonel Ricks. Killed your men. They killed everyone in the village looking for a damn treasure that doesn't exist. Everyone's dead, General. Everyone. Silence. That's. That's also an answer. No, no! Ma'am, don't. Liar! You goddamn liar! You were supposed to protect us! You gambled with our lives! It wasn't supposed to happen like this. We... we were gonna intercept them, and then... Well, you didn't. As Kieran's and Tava's bodies dissolve, it all comes back to you. Your feet trudging through the sand for miles, looking for the outpost, desperate to both find it and remain lost. The cry from your parched throat when you finally see a patrol. The black wave of sleep as the soldiers hoist your body on the stretcher. Waking up in the tent and remembering nothing. Hmm. Interesting. What do you need? What do we have here? 
Hmm. What's this? Yes. You must want answers. How did Kieran survive? He was bleeding out when I... When you left us. Yes, he was. Just like me. And I can't tell you how he made it. Because I died soon after. But frankly, something told me Kieran would pull through. My son. He was always a stubborn one. Stubborn and brave. Is this... Is this really how it happened? I used Cavill as bait? You know the answer to that, Era. No. I... I would never have done that. I wanted to protect you, damn it! The promotion came first. Protecting was secondary. I still don't understand. Why am I here, in my own dream? Are you me, or are you Shao dead? As I said, there is no simple answer to your question. Yes, I am Shao dead, the god of light. But at the same time, I am you, as I am every being in this world. You see, most of what you or the Aliani assume about me is true. Yes, I am a consequence. Yes, I appear when mankind succumbs to its sins. What you do not understand is that I am not merely the envoy of the end, but the potential itself. And I've always been and will always be with you. From the inception of existence to its downfall. You're a... Uh, potential. Yes, Era. I am the finger that tips you over the edge. The voice whispering that you fail. The tingle in your hands urging you to kill what you detest. I am vanity. I am greed. I am egotism. And it's your own thirst for me that gives me power. I'm not a monster, Eric. I'm not some malevolent god. I'm merely the manifestation of your desire to end the world. But... what about the Corrupted? The Gate? You influenced what happened. Did I? Didn't Iskrim always want revenge? Didn't Kirin always want to see you pay for what you did? Wouldn't Wraith Skadar always have given everything to have his family back. This is where the Aliani were wrong. Yes, they understood that the pattern cannot be broken, but they never understood why. It's true that there are only four corrupted at a time, but the pool is inexhaustible. Do you understand now? If Wraith hadn't agreed to open the gate, someone else would have. Maybe even you, Era. There is always someone, because I am in everyone. As long as mankind craves me, I will be there. As long as I am there, there will one day be Jakku. For your people, that day is now. But... How come the Aliani believe there are only four corrupted then? Because in their time, there were four chieftains who sought to open the gate. I still don't understand what exactly you are. What do you mean you are in everyone? I mean that I am part of your minds, your souls. I am an aspect of humanity, and Jakku is simply what happens when mankind surrenders to me. You're the manifestation of our weaknesses. Is that what you're saying? A simple way to put it, but yes. Where there's a stone and a flint, the potential of a spark starting a fire is always there, isn't it? 
But only when the flint strikes hard enough does the spark fly and the fire start. You are the stone error. I am the flint. Jakku is the fire that burns down the forest of your world. What stops me from just killing you? Right here and right now. Kill me? We're in your own mind, Era. You might as well try to kill yourself. As for the outside world, I believe you have already tried, haven't you? You cannot kill me, just as you cannot kill the tides. I am an element of existence, just like them. I was there at its inception, and I will be there when it ends. Wait. You're saying that everybody has the potential to become a corrupted? Of course, Era. Everybody has weakness in them. Only the extent varies. But no matter how many corrupted you would have stopped, eventually, I would have found someone to pave the way for me. And why wouldn't I? Mankind wants me. Your history of wars and self-destruction stands testimony to that. You crave me. Crave the answers I give. Crave the salvation I promise. So, Jakku is... inevitable. Time has yet to prove otherwise. So you are the personification of my weakness. My corruption. That's why I'm seeing you. I don't know, Era. Why don't you tell me? Why do you see me? Why do you see me, Tava, Kirin's mother, the poor peasant woman from Kavo? Because I'm responsible for your death. Yes, Era. I'm here because you chose to gamble with our lives for a shot at glory. Your own men. All the people of Kavo. Did you ever imagine what it was like for them? When the orcs realized that Cavill didn't hold the treasure you lured them there with, they butchered the people. Slowly, brutally, like animals. Oh, Aerith, how they suffered. Women, men, elders, children. The orcs made no distinction. How they suffer. But it wasn't supposed to happen that way, damn it. They weren't supposed to attack so early. And yet, you took the risk, didn't you? You took the risk because you wanted to show the Crown they were wrong about promoting the other general. And not you. Admit it already, Era. You are guilty as sin. And you know it, too. Do you not? After all, you're still carrying this charm, we... You're right. Blazes, you're right. I made a mistake. And believe me, it still haunts me every fucking day. But it doesn't matter, because I can't change what happened. I can't. What if you could? I... What? What if you could? What if there were a way to undo what you did? If I, in an instant could make all this go away and exchange it for another world. A reality where all the suffering you caused never happened. You... you can do that? You know I can. Where do you think Wraith is now? Reunited with his family. I could do the same for you. No. I don't believe you. Why would you do that? Why? Oh, Era, you still understand nothing. I'm a potential, not a monster. Jakku is the fate your world chose for itself. That doesn't mean that I enjoy devouring it. And believe it or not, I'm proud of you. You did what few people ever achieved. You confronted your demons. You realized how rotten, 
how far beyond absolution you are in this world. So, if I had the power to ease your pain, why wouldn't I? I destroy, yes, but I also create. I can absolve. This new reality, what would it be like? Like the one you come from, except that those people who died because of you are still alive. Because you never risked their lives for your shot at glory. Tava, Kirin, the people of Kavil, everyone alive. I cannot turn back time, Erev, but I can find a place where your faults were never faults in the first place. That or nothingness. The choice is yours. But what will become of my world if I agree? Nothing that isn't happening already. Your world will end as it's supposed to. And if I refuse? Then you die, along with your world. The gate has been opened. You saw it yourself. I am devouring Eo as we speak. It's over. This is a trap. You're trying to manipulate me. And here it is again. Your vanity. Erev, what makes you think you matter more to me than an ant matters to you? You're just one insignificant candle in an ocean of lights. Accept my offer, or don't. It's irrelevant to me. No. I'd rather die with my mistakes than pretend they never happened. It just doesn't work that way. <sighs> if this is what you choose, then so be it. I warned you, there is no afterlife, Eren. Not when Jakku is through. I made you an offer, and you refused it. Now, face the consequences. <sighs> Atop the mammoth stronghold of Greykeep sits King's Vantage, a gathering place of merchants, servants, and nobles alike. From here, the high towers of the keep encircle the terrace, a grove of stone jutting out from the city below. Beyond, the vast countryside of Nortender stretches to the far horizon, a view that both reminds and inspires those who defend it. <sighs> By the... Arif! The general is awake! Call a medic and the queen! Where... where am I? You're in Greykeep. You're safe. But... what about the God of Light? The gate closed itself. Eo is safe. What? But... how? Well, after you and the others went through the gate, the rest of the Wolf Guard followed your example. Then suddenly the gate closed, and some of you rematerialized in front of it. All in a strange kind of coma. Correct. We carried you back to Greykeep. But about half of those who came out of the gate are still asleep. What about the others? Catrus, Rera? I'm safe and sound, General. So is the Alyani boy. Rera and most of my men, however, are still asleep. But... They will wake up, won't they? They might, or they might not. Only yesterday, three sleeping soldiers died of starvation. I don't understand. What exactly happened in the City of Light? Alathiel? Well, the truth is, we don't know. But the more we think about it, the more it seems like Sheagdad's final test didn't take place in its temple. I suppose you also met it after we went into its maw? And it told you the truth about Jakku and offered you a new reality? Yes. Well. I've been thinking about the meaning of this ever since I woke up. And here's what I've come up with. 
Shagdad didn't lie. Our corruption and surrendering to it invokes Jakku. However, we also have the power to overcome, and that's exactly what this last choice was. I'd like to believe that it was a false promise, that those people who accepted Shagdad's offer did actually get what they were promised. At a price, that is. As Wraith's fate shows. What do you mean by that? Oh. Right. You don't know. Wraith Skadar was sighted in the Howling Steps two days ago. And according to the scout who found him, he claims to remember nothing. The Wolf Guard, Jakku, the death of his family. It's as though his entire memory was erased. But how is that possible? I saw him dissolve into light. Well, we don't know. And we probably won't get the chance to find out, as he fled before the Wolf Guard arrived to arrest him. I don't understand. What does this mean? Nobody knows. Maybe the God of Light lied and it doesn't create a new reality, but exchanges oneself from the other reality into ours. Or maybe there's another explanation altogether. There will be plenty of time to ponder. Either way, to come back to Jakku. Maybe it's this choice that Jakku is really about. Do we surrender to our weaknesses and our mistakes, or do we confront them, no matter how hard it may be? Maybe if enough people do the latter, it's enough for Shagdad to spare a world. It did spare ours. Will it be back? I don't know. It might, or it might not. I guess we simply have to live with the possibility. And what happens now? Well, the first step is to pick up the pieces. We have started already. There were more survivors of the Dark Crescent's attack on the Aliani, and they have already begun reconstructing the village with the Royal Army's help. Also, the Exalted Father learned of the Dark Crescent's actions and agreed to join forces with the Wolf Guard to hunt down its remaining members. As for Windholm, so far the Prince is doing a good job under the guidance of the Rebels. The past few months were a long and arduous trial, but we won, even though it cost us. And for this, General, the Crown thanks you. I do. You've shown me that my faith in you was not misplaced, and that sometimes a second chance is all it takes. You are released from your duties until you have recovered or wish to return. After that, there will be plenty to do. Your Majesty? When you first came to Greykeep, you asked me why I chose you of all people. You said that there have to be better candidates, given your past. I think I still owe you an answer, do I not? As you please, Your Majesty. Very well. The truth is, we all make mistakes. I cannot count how many I alone have made. The ramifications of some can be fixed, for others, they cannot. But either way, it is through our failures that we learn. And sometimes, those who have been broken know best how to mend. The Throne Hall, the inviolable inner sanctum of Greykeep. Here lies Nortender's seat of power, the seat from which her sovereign strikes accords and passes judgment. There is a certain hush to the cavernous hall and its many passages, as if the legacy... What do we have here? Erev, you're awake. I'm glad the rumors were true. Me too. Unless this is all still a dream. It seems so surreal, doesn't it? Everything is fine. Like nothing happened. I wonder if anyone outside of Greykeep even knows their reality almost ended. Still, we prevailed. We're still here. What offer did Shagdad make you? Is it really so hard to guess? My father, my people, even my mother. It offered a world with all of them in it. What made you say no? I almost didn't. How could it be selfish to give them their lives back? But then I realized, they wouldn't want it. Not if it meant betraying all our values. Hmm. Words of your father. What do you mean? The last thing he said before you left the steps. Do not lose yourself out there. Huh. 
Yeah. I guess so. How are your people? I heard there were more survivors. There were. They actually credit the Sand Prowlers for defending them. The Aliani thanking outsiders. <laughs> Imagine that. Now we must pick up the pieces. The Aliani are tough. You'll recover. Yes. But we will do more than that. I've been giving a lot of thought to everything that's happened since I joined you. In a way, my father was right. We breed our own suffering. But if this reality is worth preserving, we Aliani must do more than turn our backs. No more secrets. What will change? We will be open and welcoming to outsiders. We will share our crafts, our knowledge. We can't abandon all our customs, but some will be relaxed. In time, perhaps even our outcasts will find their way home. It will be a difficult path, but it is time for a change. I'm glad to hear it. I think the Aliani will leave a good mark upon the world. <laughs> I hope so. Now it's just a matter of convincing my people the same. What will you do now? I have to return to the Howling Steps. The Royal Army is helping to rebuild our village, and I need to oversee things. And with my father gone, I am to be Chieftain. Chieftain Kaiawu. That has a nice ring to it. It will take some time to get used to. I never thought this day would come so soon. You'll do fine. I'm sure your father would be proud of you. I hope so. His spirit is at peace with the ancestors now. What about you? Do you have any plans on the horizon? I still serve the crown. There's the wolf guard to lead, and whatever else the queen has planned. <sighs> Never a moment to be bored, is there? Not a chance. Well, I should let you go. I'm sure you have much to do. I will be here for a while longer, but in case I don't see you before I go... Thank you, Arif. For what? For showing me that there is always more than what's on the outside. <laughs> Take care, Kaiawu. Quite the ride, wasn't it? I didn't want to get all emotional with the Queen nearby, but... Erev... For a moment, I thought you wouldn't make it. For a moment, I thought... Well... Tell me... Why didn't you do it? Why did you refuse Shagdad's offer? I don't know. I guess because it would have felt like... Running away. Hmm. Either way, it's over. The world is safe and we did it. How do you feel about what Wraith did? Hmm. I understand why he did it. Wasn't it he who said that grief can drive you mad? It's ironic in a way. He wanted his wife and son back. And to achieve that, he allowed the Crescent to murder dozens. I pity the Wraith who came back to this world. He doesn't even know his family is dead yet. Do you think Rara will make it? You mean, will she choose this reality over the one the God of Light offered her? I don't know. But something tells me she will. She's a fighter. And choosing Shayagdad means to surrender. What shape did the God of Light take on for you? Um... I'd rather not talk about it. At least not now. What are your plans from here on out? Well, first of all, I have one hell of a lot of explaining to do. Iana and Gore just arrived in Greykeep, and they are Circle Mages too, after all. After that? We'll see. I'm guessing it won't be my last collaboration with the Wolfguard. And with a particular general whom I have a thing for. Count on it. Well then. I'll see you around, won't I? Definitely.
A memory manifests before your eyes. The night you returned to your barracks after that fateful day. It was late, but the air was still sticky, humid, almost palpable. You sat down at your desk and stared at the blemished wood. This way. Keep it up. Hmm. Interesting. Back on your feet already? No offense, but you look like shit. You sure you don't want to nap a little more? I've had enough sleep for the next week. I could use a chat with a friend. And a drink. Or two. Fair point. The Kraken, tonight? Count me in. So, you're gonna be put on trial now? One moon from now, yes. And they still let you run around free? My charm must have worked. What did you see? In Shagdad's Maw? Do I have to tell you? Up to you. Well, why the hell not? We stopped a god together, didn't we? Well, let's do this next time we grab a drink, alright? Now's not the time. And frankly, I don't want the Queen listening. Alright. Where do you see the Black Company in the future? You know me, General. I try not to think about the future. Even if your men's pay depends on it? Well, some of them expressed interest in becoming a permanent part of the Royal Army, which surprises me to say the least. As for the rest, I have some jobs in the offing, but none of them here in Nortanda. We'll see. Well then, I'll see you around. At least for now. End of the world or not, it was great fun fighting at your side. Okay. Okay. If it's this or death, then do it. Send me to this new world. As you wish. Just close your eyes, Aaron. Then it's like falling asleep. Just close your eyes.